Welcome to the Lost Ball Guide for the third and final instalment of the Jules Verne series, Around the World in 80 Days. With it comes 18 hidden balls for us to find, so let's begin with the first at hole number one. So the first hole starts with us at the ticket office, and for this ball we want to go beyond the flag towards the baggage zone, and on the right, just level with these steps, there is a trolley. If you look behind it, down on the floor is the first one. For our second ball, we are at the security gate. So we want to make our way through here, ignore any beeps. And then on the left, we have this sort of quarantine trolley. And behind the briefcase is the French flag ball. For the third, we start just by the departures board. And as we make our way round this corner and up the stairs on the right, where the baggage is making its way up behind this briefcase, is the third ball. For number four, we are located just next to this airship which is having the luggage loaded onto it, and down by the cog on the right-hand side is the ball. The fifth hole is the last before we make our way outside for the first time, and if we turn back from the tee, there is a bin in this corner, and there is the fifth ball. The sixth hole is located on the coal ship and for the ball we want to head over towards the helm of the ship and just on the right hand side where we have one of these tying points, give them a wave, just behind it, careful with your heights here, is the sixth ball. I quite like that design. For number seven we are back inside and by the post room. We want to take this lift up the steps or up the slope and you may see the ball just there on your way up but when you reach the top wait for it to make its way back down and that will reveal ball number seven. Ball number eight is over by the spares and back here there's a trolley a sort of a maintenance trolley just duck down under this lever and in the corner by the wheel is ball number eight. finish off the first half ball number nine we are making our way outside again up this slope and if you're not good with heights just don't look down go to the other side and turn back on yourself and underneath in the rafters there is the ninth ball for ball number 10 as we stand at the tee we want to just turn to the right, and if you peer over this side and down, just underneath the sandbag is the 10th ball. Ball number 11 is inside the passenger ship. Oh, excuse me, sorry. So turn to the left and on the first row of seats by the window is ball number 11. For ball number 12, we want to make our way over towards the kind of social and coffee area. And there are a couple of tables here. The second of the tables that has this violin case and a gramophone, down by its legs, there is the ball. For ball number 13, we can make our way over towards the tempting looking piano. And as with most of the instruments, providing you haven't picked up the ball, it will play a tune. Anyway, that's cool. So turn back towards this table and inside the coffee cup is sort of a, a latte art themed ball, which I think is a really cool design. For number 14, we want to go beyond the flag and over to a table on the far right corner. Now, there's a really fun Easter egg here, which is that there's a concept sketch on this notepad, which I think was done by Don Carson, who is left-handed, which is why I think the brushes are on the left there. Anyway, down by his satchel, 
there is the ball. Football number 15, we can get to this a couple of ways, but I turn left from the tee here and make my way down the steps. And at the bottom of this spiral staircase, just on the far side of the pillar from where you start, down there is the ball. For ball number 16, we actually want to make our way back down towards hole 15, again connected with this spiral staircase. So make your way down. So that's full 360 from the start and then a little turn more. And in these beams is ball number 16. Ball number 17, we start by the pull shot hole but we want to turn back towards the bridge that carried us from hole number 16. And when you stand on this side, you can see the ball on the right-hand side. So there it is, down by the railing. And finally, for ball number 18, as we stand by the tee, there's the flag, continue turning round, and there is a curtain just behind you. And touched behind the curtain is our final ball. That's like a souvenir ball. I think that's really cool. So that's it. That's all 18 for Around the World in 80 Days. You can see them marked off on the scorecard. And as ever, if you take yourself back to the main menu, you can see them all coming down the chute. So let me know in the comments below if you've got a favorite out of those. I really love that where the story, the full story hasn't been told in the course because they've kept it to the Eiffel Tower. A lot of the scenes from the story are depicted in the balls. So if there is one in there that you particularly like, uh, maybe not that flag for me. I'll swap that one out. Uh, that's better. But yeah, if there is one that you like, please do let me know. Put it down in the comments below. Like this video if you found it helpful. And if you want more walkabout themed content, please do subscribe and check out everything else I've got to offer on the channel. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm hoping you're enjoying the DLC as much as I am. And I look forward to seeing you out on the course.